Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In this video, I want to show you how to reuse the existing React component to perform add and update employee operation. In previous video, we have created separate update employee component to perform update employee operation, right? So in this video, I want to show you how to reuse the existing that is create employee component to perform add and update employee operation. So this is uh, not a good idea to create a separate component and uh, copy the existing code. All right. So we have replicated a same code, almost same code in update employee component from create employee component. Right. So now what we can do is we can just perform add and update employee operation in a single component. So let me show you how to do it. And this is one of the common requirement to you know to implement add and update operation in a single page or in a single component okay let's go ahead and let's see how to do it just follow the steps go to the app.js file and inside the dot app.js file we have configured a routing so in case of update operation the route looks like this we have to pass slash colon id in order to get a id of the particular employee so first of all let me comment out this line of code because we are not going to use update employee component we are going to use create employee component to perform add and update employee operations here create employee component should need a employee id in order to perform update employee operation for that let's go ahead and let's copy this code this id here and let's add it so now look at here this is how the path looks like to perform add and uh, update operation now the important thing is we need to have a flag to distinguish whether we are performing add operation or update operation so we have to maintain a flag let's say we, we maintain a minus one let's say so whenever we pass minus one here it means that this is the request for add employee operation and let's say if we pass any positive number one two three four so on then we can consider it as a it the request is for update operation so because employee id is always a positive number if you go to the database a database will automatically generate a id for each employee right in a database table so the id is always gonna positive we can have a minus one uh, as a flag or a value to distinguish between add and update operation otherwise you can also use underscore id so you can use this value to distinguish between add and update employee okay so whatever the flag you you can use but make sure that the flag should not be a positive number because the employee id is always a positive number and which we use to perform update operation all right all right so configure route like this so this is the first step and second step is go to the update employee component so this code we have understood in previous videos and to perform update operation we should have a id right so we can get id from the route so look at here we have added id property to the state object and we have retrieved id from the route by using this dot props dot match dot params and the id all right so let me just copy this code and go to the create employee component and just paste inside a state object okay so this is the second step step two so let me write a comment here also this is the step one okay now once we got id then based on the id we can write the logic if id is minus one then the request is for add employee and if the id is any positive number then we can say that it is the request is for update operation all right great 
Now in case of update operation, we should have an employee object and that employee object will populate in a form for editing. So in order to do that, we have already written a code in an employee, update employee component, right? So here, look at here, this is the component did mount method. So inside that, we have made a REST API call. So inside the employee service, we have written get employee by ID method, which will internally call a REST API by using Axios dot get method so this is the request for uh, getting a employee object by id all right guys let me quickly copy this and go to the create employee component and just below constructor paste it so this is the step three okay so this is the step three just get a employee object by id okay now the fourth step is once we got id based on the id we can decide whether the request is for add or update employee right so let's go ahead and let's add a condition here inside component did mount method this is a step four if id is equals equal minus one this dot state dot id equal to equal to minus one then we don't fetch a employee object by id we simply return it okay in else condition we simply move this code all right great if the id is minus one then we don't do anything we simply return in a else condition we should get a employee object by id because in uh, else condition uh, always if the number if the id is positive then the control always comes inside a else condition and this is for update employee operation all right guys now in fourth step we got an employee object in case of update employee and then that employee is populated in the form now let's say employee edit the form and hit save button then this event handler will get called okay and inside this save employee method we need to decide whether the form is for add employee or update employee for that let's go ahead and just add the condition here let me quickly copy this condition this is the step 5 okay if the id is min equal to equal to minus one then we simply call create employee method and we pass the employee object so this is for add employee operation and in else condition we call a method called update employee method and we pass employee object and id for example go to the employee uh, update employee component and here inside update employee method we have already written the logic let me just copy this code and go to the else condition and paste it here so look at here if id is equal to equal to minus one then we call create employee method and we pass the employee object to it so this will internally call a add employee rest api and it will send the employee data to the rest api and rest api internally save the add employee form data and in case of else condition we call update employee method so this internally call update employee rest api and it will pass a employee object this is the updated employee information and the id all right and rest api will internally update a employee employee information in the database now let's save all the files and let's go back to the browser and let's see how it works in a browser just refresh the url and this is the add employee button so once we click on add employee button it should navigate to the add employee page right so go ahead and click on add employee button so look at here it won't work because we have used single route to perform add and update operations right we have to provide here slash minus one and we should be able to get add employee page all right so let's change the add employee uh, you know event handler code go to the vs code 
and go to the list employee component and here we have a add employee button and this is the add employee event handler so once we click on add employee button then add employee event handler will get called and here basically we need to provide slash minus one okay if you save the file and go back to the browser and once you click on add employee button you should able to navigate to the add employee page all right guys great now let us test update employee functionality so if you click on update button it won't work because we are using update hyphen employee route here okay and we have commented out this route in app.js file let me show you go to the app.js file and look at here this is the route we have already commented and we are using add hyphen employee path for add and update operation so let's go to the list employee component and go to the update button and once we click on update button edit employee event handler will get called and this is update hyphen employee so let's go ahead and let's change it from update employee to add employee save it and let's go back to the browser I refresh the link so let's go ahead and let's click on update button yeah here we go we have successfully navigate to the update employee page but still we need some changes over here this is the update employee page still we can see here add employee text okay so let's go ahead and let's change this title let's go back to the vs code and let's go to the create employee component and let me just copy this id and here we need to add the condition okay so what we'll do we'll simply create a method over here like get title something like this and here we simply write the condition if id equal to equal to minus one then we simply return that you know the page title like add employee in else condition we simply return update employee and let's get this employee title let's call this employee title here so this is the jsx so we can write a javascript code inside it write the curly braces and just call this method all right let's save the file and let's go back to the browser oops uh, there is something some error over here let's see what is the error uh, line number 73 go to the vs code go to the line number 73 yes so here return keyword is missing let's save the file and let's go back to the browser yeah here we go all right we have successfully added a condition to update the text over here all right guys now what we'll do we'll update the employee so i'm going to update this remesh employee click on update button and let's say let's change from post name post name from remesh to ram and email id from remesh to ram at the gmail.com and hit save yeah here we go post name and employee id is changed all right we have successfully updated an employee all right guys we have successfully performed add and update employee in a single component and uh, this is one of the you know uh, important requirement so whenever uh, you implement a code operation in your project always try to uh, reuse the existing component don't uh, you know create a separate component like we have created a update employee component and we have almost duplicated all the code which is already there in a create employee component this is not a good practice all right so always try to reuse the existing code don't duplicate code in your project all right guys again you can refactor something like uh, this is the save employee method but this method does two things one is for add employee another is 
update employee so you can rename this method like save or update employee let me quickly refactor save or update and let's refactor this name in a required places go to the constructor and here also just rename it and save it and yeah, that is pretty much let's say if you don't want to use minus one what you can do is you can just go to the list employee component and here you have add employee button right so on click up add employee button add employee event handler will get called and go to the add employee event handler and here we have added minus one so let's replace from minus one to underscore add okay and let me show you where the change is required so where you, where where you have added minus one just go ahead and add the string underscore add and so look at here this is the operator that we use to uh, you know uh, just check whether these two strings are equal or not go to this condition and just replace here okay great let's save the files let's go back to the browser and refresh the url and click on add employee so look at here the route underscore add so in case of add employee you should be able to see like this so we got update employee right so let me quickly uh, here we have missed one more condition let me just change it all right great yeah here we go so look at here this route add employee slash underscore add okay so if request comes like this then add employee page will get populated and in case of update the route is looks like this so this should be a id and it should be a positive number in case of update already that is pretty much about how to reuse the existing component to perform add and update operations i hope you got some idea so i believe that you utilize this idea in your projects all right guys thanks for watching i will see you in the next video